session, we're going to have a very, very quick overview on building. I get into building much more in detail as time goes on. The things to know about building are it's an art form, whether you're in Second Life or in real life, so the best thing you can do for yourself is to take classes. And if you've been in the previous sessions, you know the way to do that is to go to up to the destination guide, click on your home, go to the destination guide, and to enter in either building or education or something like that in the search. We're going to key in education and make content that is either adult, moderate, or general, and then do a search, which will open up uh, more options for you. And you can go to events. And then you can actually key in here education and then look there for education classes. I can't stress enough that the people who do classes on things like building and you know, fashion design and texturing and things like that, they are very good at what they do. The House of Flames also has some builders and some folks that we work with, and we can give you those names, but it really does behoove you to see how the basics of building works. Let me just show you a couple things. Of course, this is very, very elementary. I think you've known from the past videos, if you've watched them, that everything starts with a prim. A primitive is an elementary element in Second Life for building. So if I go to build and I click on build, I get a box that shows me a number of different shapes that I can start with. I'm going to click on this box, then just on the ground start with my basic building block. Now the basic building block has some options. You can uh, you can turn it, you know, you have some options by doing that, by holding down your control key and working with your mouse. It has some options as far as dimensions. We have a height dimension, and these dimensions can not only be, you can actually set dimensions so that as you're building you can make sure things are in line. There are also a lot of builders tools out there to help you keep things lined up, and in this very uh, skybox I have, you can see how there's a grid line so it helps you keep things lined up. We have the option of making something thinner. We have the option of, if I just turn this around using the camera controls from an early video, uh, I can make it wider. So this is basically how, how a prim is manipulated. The next thing I can do is I can work with the texture and I might want to keep it this texture and just change the color, which makes it then dark. And the other thing I can do then is, you know, this is going to be really simple, but I can change the texture on only one side. And using the select face, I can select the texture only on that side. And you see that's where my crosshairs are. The crosshairs aren't on any other surface except for that one. So on this side, I want to change my texture. And what I do is I open up the texture. It opens up my inventory. And I'm going to enter in a texture. Whoops. I'm going to do this as soon as I can type. OK. I'm kind of a, a car fanatic, and if you come around the second uh, the House of Flames Island in Second Life, you'll see that I've got some of my photography up. This is a picture I took, and in Photoshop, I worked it so it looks like it's already framed. And then I uploaded this texture, this basically it's a JPEG, into Second Life, and I want to apply it to this, this surface. Now the problem with that surface is that it's dark, so that surface has to be changed back to white or some other color close to white. Let's get it white, white. So now you can see that this looks like a photograph. And it's, it's uh, got some depth to it. 
it's suitable for framing. The rest of it still stays dark. What I can also do is I can edit it. I can change the size of the texture by going back to that select face. I can stretch the texture out so that it's bigger, so that it covers the whole thing. And then theoretically, you know, this is very rude and crude, but I have something that's sellable. This can be done with any number of, of items. But for me, I do some building. I don't do a lot of building, but photography is something that I've gotten involved in, and this enables me to sell some of my work in Second Life and also to ha have it shown in galleries in Second Life. Another thing that I've constructed, because I couldn't find anything like it, were these shoes. Uh, this is part of the complimentary House of Flames outfit that everybody can get. But if you look here, there's a fair amount of uh, prims and, and things involved in these shoes. And the way I did these shoes is I bought something similar and then crafted mine based on how that other one was made. So there's lots of different ways to make things in Second Life, and taking those classes is just essential. Now, another key here, once you make something, I'm going to go back to the edit, is right now, this is called Object. If I leave it called object, I'm going to end up having thousands of things in my inventory called object. Once you've made something, you need to name it or you're going to get it lost among all the other things with the same name. So I am going to call this and then that will be saved. And then the other thing I'm going to do is if I want the next owner to be able to resize it, I can do that and they can transfer it and I get more into that later. So I've made it. Now I can determine if I want to sell it, how much I want to sell it for. And let's just say for, I want to sell it for 250 Lindens. And it will show then if somebody clicks on it that it can be for sale. Now I'm going to click on it. And you see down here it says buy and I, I can sell it. Somebody can buy it and if they buy it, the money will come right out of their Linden dollar account. The other thing for now I want to do, though, is I want to put it back in my inventory. And I can take it, put it back in my inventory, and that's where it will be stored until I need it. We get far more into building later, but again, the best thing you could possibly do is take a class on building because it goes into far more depth.